Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video, we're going to talk about new templates for Microsoft Forms. Now, this is an interesting video because these templates have actually been out for a while, but it all depends on how you access Microsoft Forms. And I'll walk you through that scenario because it's kind of a little hilarious, but it's important that you at least find out where these form templates are available because there's quite a few variety of those. So stick around. This is both amusing and important. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now first, let's talk about these new Microsoft Form templates and why this humorous idea of not able to access it so easily. So I'll just walk you through my scenario, all right? Now this is how I access my Microsoft 365 on a daily basis. What I do is, granted, a lot of us have all of these bookmarks over here, but if I'm not aware of what I need to do, I'm usually going to office.com and I come into this main portal. I personally like coming over here because it gives me a quick access of all the things that I need to be aware of. It tells me any of the things that I've recently touched and all the other activities that are going on. See right over here, you see Microsoft lists. I've got gone ahead and done some forms. I've got some Excel spreadsheets sitting over there. All my activity, like quick access recently opened up, it all happens over here. This is why I come to my office.com. The other thing is that now when I go and click on this app launcher, a lot of us call it as a waffle icon, from right here, I can go and access anything. So this is again another place where I usually come to office.com and I access everything from there. So while I'm over here in the office.com, I can go ahead and now see my forms and I click on the Microsoft forms and this is where it takes me. This is kind of like the home page of Microsoft forms. Now I've actually done a video on that and how I've even shared some of my opinion is that I would have actually liked this all my forms to be the home forms, but that's just for another story and another scenario. But anyway, even over here, right? So I come over here, I come into the top, I don't see any options for templates. I even came to my favorite place, which is all my forms, which got me over here. And even here, I don't see these new templates. Well, then how do I actually see them? One thing that caught my attention is this URL. You see how the URL says design page v2.aspx and then it has got that question mark. Well, if I actually now come over here on the top and I delete the post.aspx, it means I delete every one of these things, I hit enter. Now you see suddenly these templates showed up. I can go and hide it, I can go and show it. This wasn't there when we followed the path that I just mentioned. However, I wanna show you another scenario now. What if you are the person who basically always comes to the browser and just search for forms, forms.microsoft.com, if this is what you do and you hit enter, then it automatically takes you to this page, see the URL, it automatically does that, and then you've seen the templates. So if you are falling under this category, the latter one that I just told you, then you've always been available and you've seen these forms and these templates. However, if you are in the first one, the one that I usually follow, you probably did not see any of these, and hopefully this video is helping you. So this is, first of all, how you go ahead and find these templates. Now, let's go and take a look at each of these templates. So what I like about over here is that they've actually done a good job categorizing the group of these templates of the Microsoft Forms because each of them is actually not just a single form. As it says, it is a template. So we can start by saying this first one is Organize Successful Events. And if I click on it, you will see that it's actually showing you four different types of Microsoft Forms which fall under this Organize Successful Events category or this template. Also, you notice there's a dropdown over here. So I can actually swap around from one template style to the other style pretty fast. I don't have to go to the back and go and select the other one. I can go ahead and you know navigate around across templates really fast over here. But the neat thing is that I can get a really good preview of the entire template right from the get-go. And this is a great example. See, under the Organize Successful Events type, this one is called as Community Volunteer Registration Form. And the beauty of this is it is pretty detailed. Like if you can actually start leveraging something for that for any community event that you might have. All you gotta do is first go ahead and accept this form and just tweak a few things here and there. But the form is actually up and running for you from the get go. In fact, every time you go ahead and say that I wanna start doing it, you just click on start to edit. It'll go ahead and now make you as the form owner, you will be the one already went and saved that for you. So now you've got access to go ahead and tweak around however you want. That's the beauty of this thing over here. But let's, let's actually take a few look at the, a few other ones as well. 
So I'll go back again outside and right away here is the attendee confirmation survey. That's also pretty neat. It has got a whole bunch of things available over here. Same thing on the post feed survey. I personally can see myself use a lot of this, especially for the conferences I speak at or in general. Again, it, it's got beautiful design. This is a great example because it's got a question. In the question, we've gone ahead and added an image. This little functionality is something I don't see a lot of people use when they try to make a quick and easy form that you have this feature. You are able to go and put images inside at the question level. This one is already taking care of that for you. And you see the design and the aesthetics is so beautiful. But what I wanted to show you was some of the other varieties we have over here. So for example, gain insights through user research. Some of these forms are pretty lengthy. See, watch this one. This one just keeps going and going and going. It is a lengthy form. And guess what? It has actually gone ahead and done branching. See, over here it's in the branching. So let's actually go and take a look at this one. I'm gonna go and go and start to edit in the start to edit now, which means that it's actually gone ahead and added this form, this template that we have you know, actually added into our tenant. And right over here, we've got sections added. So in sections of the form, like there's one section over here, this is a section. Then we've gone ahead and as you scroll down, you saw that I was able to add another section. Moment I see sections, that's when the thought of branching comes in. In fact, I've done a whole video on how this branching works. I put the link below, go ahead and take a look at it in a nutshell. When you have such things over here, you can actually go ahead and do branching at a section level, or you can go ahead and do branching at a question level. You basically can do all of these things, like based on what is the answer of this question, you can go and switch it on to any other question that you want or any other section that you want. But the sake of this video, the, the, the point I want to make is how detailed this form is. And now you've got access to this template over there. Let's go and take a look at the other two ones as well. So as you go back slowly and just go to the left, I wanna go back over here. And then there is for improve employee satisfaction. As you all know, this is a highly used one because there's so many scenarios, not just for your scenario, but so many line of businesses can use this. Any events that happen over there, any barbecue event that happen, any meet and greet, the employee satisfaction survey is actually one of the highest uses of Microsoft Forms in general. And you've got all of these built over here Trust me, even though um, Microsoft Forms is such an easy to use with such in a UI, it still takes a lot of time to go ahead and build all of this. At least this is, this, is a, this is a few clicks to go and build all of that, but you've got all of this template available. All you have to do is use this template, tweak the questions, however you see fit to match your scenario, but you've got all of this available. And then once you've got all of this available, again, you click on start to edit. Now you have a copy of this. So one of the things that I've actually started doing is I went ahead and grabbed all of them. Then I went and actually created a collection for each of every one of them. And I'll show you. See, when I come back over here to my Microsoft Forms, I come outside, I come over here to my My Forms. In My Forms, you see how this one doesn't have that zero responses. That tells me it's actually a collection. And I created the collection by coming over here and clicking a new collection. And all the ones which is for the organized successful events form, I went and created and started adding into this collection. That way I've actually got my own collection built over this. So this is something that I'm just doing for myself. It does two things. First of all, I have the forms ready for me to start using them anytime. And I get to go and have a good insight of what all of these forms are. Now, since we are talking about templates over here, especially these ones, which are new templates, there were already some templates out there, which has been out for over a year, some of them even two years, that you may not be aware of. So I'm actually gonna talk about that as well. So the first one I wanna show you is right over here. This is a link which I've put in the description down below. So go take a look at it. And this has a whole bunch of sample forms. And you can see this was actually released in March of 2020. So this has been out for a while. The beauty of this is that you can come and you can actually go and see all of these forms. So when you come over here, there's this option that says click here to get one. The moment you do that, you'll actually click it. It will go ahead and give you this link. Once you come to this link, you come over here to click on duplicate it. And then you get a copy of this one. And this is also another neat one, which all has to do with travel one. And each of them have that. So for example, the next one has got a lunch order form. Same thing, scroll all the way down, pay attention to this little text. And right over here, it says click here to get one. It will give you this link. In this link, you have to click on the duplicate it, and then you get a copy of that as well. And then same thing, there's a few others over here. You can go ahead and get a copy of that. This one even gives you an example of how you can use the backend power automate to go ahead and leverage that to save the data in a different data source. Really, really good content over here. So this link plus two others, I've gone ahead and put that in the description below. Go ahead and take a look at it. And hopefully this has been helpful to you. 
So as a quick recap, we went and saw a whole bunch of templates which were either always available and you noticed it or it might have been hidden and I've shown you how to get over there. Also, I showed you some templates which have been out for a while, but it's really important that you at least go and grab the templates and keep it in your tenant and how you can go and duplicate that. Forms is a great tool to go ahead and make an end user survey type of information really quickly. It is by default responsive. You don't have to do any coding whatsoever. And that is why I am a big fan of Microsoft Forms. Hey everyone, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because remember, I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much and pass the word. But if you haven't, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.